Crude oil continued with the fall yesterday. It has achieved $75 levels since here I have mentioned and in the week beginning itself I have mentioned. We are looking forward to a crash. We are looking forward to a drop in crude oil. I hope you all profited there. Now what to expect? Yes, 74, 76 is a critical support zone for crude oil. So what does this mean? Can we expect a bounce back today or is it again going to stay bearish? Which position you should take in order to profit? Trading crude oil, we will see with the help of charts and indicators. This is the first update for the day. The next update will be released before the US session, thus to get the live updates. Do press the subscribe button. Also, you can join the free Telegram channel to get the live updates. And yes, your every like, share and comment is the motivation for me to deliver to the best of my ability. Let's start first to look into early chart. See what has happened on the early chart drop retracement towards or consolidation towards the 20 period drop retracement towards or consolidation towards the 20 period drop retracement towards and consolidation towards the 20 period. Now what is happening here? It is again the same. It is trying to look downwards. Also, if you look at the early charts, what is happening here is the support at 75.4 appears to be strong and then 75 levels. So once prices stays below 75, do not think of buying crude oil. It can drop further. I will recommend you to sell if you see this price below 75.4 levels. We can initiate a selling position but with a caution note that as long as yesterday's lows at 75 and 74.95 are respected, possibility of a reversal will exist strong. Thus you have to trade with caution but right now it is still trading bearish. See 74 is a greater milestone which I will be looking forward to. The stock I stick looking downwards. Magni is retracing here and it is trying to look upwards. RSI is also come out of the oversold zone. Coming to 2 likewise on the 2 hour chart, similar pattern is observed here as well. Thus wait for it to break a little specifically below 75 is do not think of buying crude oil. Again I am saying the bottom could be at around 74 which is a definitely definitely greater support for the week and if it stays below 74 is where the bears will completely take over. Stochastic rising MACD. Now look at MACD on the two hour charts after staying bearish here it is willing to converge crossover and willing to rise but it does not mean that this is the bottom it has converged and it can continue to diverge for further drop. However it has crossed over so a little greener candle cannot be denied. RSI is staying oversold. Thus a pullback can be seen if the price stays above 76 you can go for buying crude here yes if the price stays above 76 we can go buying now look at 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts what has happened too much of divergence in the moving averages too much of divergence on the price from the moving average but it is not something which is an unsustainable divergence yes it can sustain it now look at the 3 hour charts here, higher lows are seen possibly, in fact once it rises above 75.7, 75.8 levels you can buy for 76 and beyond 76 we are going to look forward to a major rise. Now this levels at 76.5, 77.5 this complete $1 is going to be the maximum resistance on the upside. So wherever you are getting at in between 76.5, 77.5 try to book profits there. Stock stick at bottom, MACD is bearish trying to converge a little, trying to cross over for a buy. But if you look at the pattern, drop, retracement, drop and if it tries to retrace, we can see a possible rise. RSI oversold, it may try to come out of the oversold levels. Coming to 4 hour chart, likewise on the 4 hour charts, see the 20 period moving average now at $78 levels. The prices are too much divergent here. It has changed the gear here and since then we have seen major bearish momentum. Now if you look at last few candles just are in consolidation just are trying to give good swings here. Only reversal confirmation if you see the price is staying below 75 we can expect oil to crash towards 74. To get the benefit of this move I will recommend you to sell at 75.4 when this price stays below 75.4 you can initiate a selling position but with a caution note with a warning that as long as 75 that is the preceding lows are not breached, we should not treat this as bearish any point of time it can reverse so whenever you see your trade is in green just put your stop loss here your entry price and safeguard your capital that is the first observation. Second this could be possibly a reversal sign once the price stays beyond 76 you can expect a rise. Now how to benefit I will recommend you to buy at 75.7 here itself 
and then expect 76 to be breached 76 76.5 77 77.5 78 every five dollar every 0.5 or 50 cents is where we are having a resistance or pit stop for oil on the upside and uh, 76.5 77.5 is the milestone which is a greater resistance zone which will play a very important role for any rise or retracement for oil on the upside thus be watchful of this stock is rising from the oversold MACD is bearish rsi is oversold coming to the day now see look at the daily chart see after the breakout this was the first bearish move this is the second bearish candle and it is already outside bullinger band so yes if the next candle even if it tries to stretch on the downside the possibility of a pullback will be very strong also look at the body size the body size is getting smaller here suggests that the bearishness has diminished so only if it breaks below 74 you can say increased bearishness will be seen be below 74 only and the we have to watch out how it behaves 74 definitely is the greater support stock is oversold macd is divergent macd is bearish it is looking downwards rsi is at bottom as well now considering this we have seen the charts and indicators before i give you the trading levels and strategy for if you want to learn this art of trading you can join my mentorship batch 27th batch is going to start on 20th of november register yourself now itself book your seats now itself do not miss this opportunity invest in your learning first which can reap the profits throughout your life in order to register for the batch you can visit our platform forex here is a glimpse of the platform where on the first home page itself you will find the tab where you can just click on and find the details related to the batch the timings the curriculum the services which you'll get and also the buying option and the registration details so yes fill in the details proceed ahead with the payment and book your seats now also my upcoming webinar is going to come on saturday where we are going to discuss what can be expected out of uh, indices and commodities and in a holistic view we will take also i'll be taking up your live queries the first session was conducted last week this is the second session in the series so do register for the webinar and this platform has much more for you whether be it the breaking news whether be it the economic calendar from across the globe and the markets where you can search for your favorite instruments get the live charts do your own analysis with the help of tools and indicators you can schedule a call if you are looking forward to any guidance consultation and yes the discussion forum is very important where you can indulge into discussion with the like-minded traders and take an informed decision thus visit the platform forexfunda.com and yes if you want to learn if you want to trade as per the signals you can join my signals channel on tele telegram this is a premium vip signals channel you can reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description now considering this i will recommend you to crude oil at 75.7 and this is a retracement not a reversal beyond 75.7 first resistance at 76.1 levels 76 levels then 76.5 and after this just 50 cents there is a milestone 76.5 77 77.5 78 the greatest resistance will exist between 76.5 77.5 zone do not treat this for a reversal as long as these levels are not breached beyond this 178 is breached you can treat this that the prices are reversing we can move towards 80 dollar levels as well chances for which appear to be less take your tits accordingly on the downside i will recommend you to select 75.4 levels itself yes when uh, this price is below 75.4 you can sell here that is eliminate the spreads and wait for the lower prices for selling where you can sell at 75.4 and then see 75 levels is the level below which only for the bearishness to prevail if the price stays below 75 i will look forward for it to directly achieve 74 and below 74 a major press chances for which appear to be less so take your trades accordingly like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship batch join my signals channel or webinar and yes do subscribe to the channel do like share and comment as much as possible yes your sharing is definitely a great support thank you very much have a great profitable trading day see you again before the u.s session do not miss that update thank you